And well, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be my full review with spoilers of Bed Rest. This is a 2B original film that came out on December 7th. Now, as always, all my reviews are with spoilers if you don't want them, just to see if this was worth it or not in the description box down below. There you're going to find my spoiler-free review because I like to give you guys the two options. So giving that little talk and disclaimer ahead, let's get into the video. Now, Bed Rest follows a pregnant woman on Bed Rest that begins to wonder if her house is haunted or if it's all in her head. The film starts Melissa Barrera, who probably you remember because she appeared on the Scream 5. Now, this is a horror thriller. But I am pretty sure that for some people, this may not be 100% horror. But still, I want to talk about it because I gave it a chance to watch it this week since I knew about this film months ago because this was, was supposed to be originally released in theaters on July. But um, I don't really have the details. But for some reason, they decided to just release it on Tubi on December 7. To give a brief summary, this is one hour and 30 minutes. It's very very short and fast paced things happen so damn fast that you don't even have time to digest what just happened basically we have julie and her husband she is seven months pregnant she's moving to this new house that they're doing a renovation the house is gorgeous everything is fine until they get to a party and this party that it's with her husband's new co-workers they have a little disagreement because She's not feeling 100% comfortable with the fact that her husband doesn't want to acknowledge the son that they had before because she was pregnant five years before this. She lost her son. She gave birth to this baby and he was already dead. Of course, for her, this wasn't easy. And for five years, she has been grieving, of course, her son. And now that she's pregnant again, she's happy but we also see that she's kind of paranoid and her husband kind of doesn't acknowledge the fact that this is not their first child and they have a little argument and she is walking on the stairs and she sees a young boy and when she wants to turn she she basically slips and she falls down the stairs and of course she ends on the hospital because of this she is in high risk of having the same result as before so she's suggested like she's strictly asked to stay on bed rest for eight weeks if you ask me that will be hell i am the type of person that i can't just stay still in one place so for me that will be awful and for her it also was from the very beginning of course we can sense there is something weird on the house it's even on the plot and even on the trailer being honest, I think that the trailer gave away a little bit too much on that part. And we're going to be seeing on the next of the film, it's her during these eight weeks. All the way from the very first day that she's on bed rest to the day of that she's giving birth. Now you could be expecting that the film is going to start building up um, the paranormal encounters, that we're going to have a backstory of the house and all of that happened to end this in... A huge climax with her trying to protect her daughter no matter what that sort of stuff right unfortunately that doesn't happen like that like yes we just have some paranormal encounters there and there but they aren't they aren't even scary like honestly they feel like nothing the film definitely feels that it delivers nothing because it does happen at the end she sees the thing that wants her baby and she is able to get some information about the house and all of that but it felt that something was missing like definitely it felt that they went with this story and they stopped it on the middle and what happened like where's the rest but to give um the ending basically is very sad she gives birth on the house She's protecting, of course, her baby. And she's on a bathtub. And the bathtub, the floor is almost falling, meaning that one movement and the bathtub is coming from the second floor to the first floor. 
And that's what she does in order to protect the baby. Like she, of course, she says it right here. She pushes the bath of falls. Of course, it's completely broken. She gets lying on the floor and the husband just gets to the house. Of course, he's looking for the police and trying to get the help. And she's with the baby. And you could be thinking, did she survive or what? Of course, she did not. She is dying, but the husband that was with her when everything was happening, he was able to leave, get help, so they arrive. And at first you're seeing her, and then you have her walking. But she's with the same rope and everything, but she doesn't have the baby on her hands. She has it like on her side. And when she turns around, it's when we realize that actually we're seeing her ghost. And this is when it clicks. Oh god, she died. <laughs> it happens another thing that I was actually... I was surprised and more sad because she sees the stairs and this bright light like the stairs to heaven but she opens the door and she sees a baby and it's her baby from five years ago and she has it in her hand she has her son and you could be thinking so now she's going to be with him again and she at least had her baby although she left one with her husband right but she has some doubts because, of course, she is between wanting to live with her baby or staying and being with the new one. And there's this woman that appears throughout the film that she's brought to help her. And she dies because of she basically she's pushed from the window by the entity and the ghost, if you want to call it. And she just snaps and dies. And she's, of course, dead and she's in the afterlife. And at some point of the film, she's explaining to Julie that she wanted to be a mother, but she wasn't able. So I immediately thought, so she's going to take Julie's first baby and she's going to stay and she's going to come back to life. And that's what happens. She says goodbye to her baby. She caves to the woman and the woman leaves. And now she's able on the afterlife to be a mother. And basically the film ends with Julie like doing like that type of breathing. And of course, we realize that she's brought back to life. And cuts to black. And then we have a scene of them living on the house, all happy with the girl and happy of laughter. And that's it. Yeah, that fast. Everything happens so damn fast that I was like, what? What the hell happened? Now, on the things that I like it, I really like it. Melissa Barrera's acting, like, definitely is what saves the film. Because by now, probably you're thinking this is not good. Well, she saves the film. It's very convincing. Like, you can really feel that she's a mother that is grieving her son and trying to protect her daughter on her belly and being a very stressed, anxious, paranoid, like, all that like she's very convincing but for the rest i didn't like it anything else like the story we have seen it before it reminds me a lot to rosemary baby a little bit to american horror story murder house maybe a little bit of mama just because of the grieving part if you haven't seen the film it's amazing by guillermo del toro mama it's amazing so we have seen this before we have seen this trope there's nothing wrong because usually they will have some type of twist and at the end they're going to feel different but here that different that type of sparkle nah nothing like i said for me this film deliver nothing just a trope but i do definitely feel that this film had a potential to be actually good because like I say, we have seen this trope, but Rosemary Baby is amazing, of course, it's a classic. American Horror Story, Murder House, the whole trope of the pregnant woman, it's amazing. And like I say, Mama, although she's not pregnant, she's a ghost, but all that, and it's very good. So definitely this film could have been better. Now I will give it 2.5 out of 5 and a 6 out of 10. So if you have the chance to watch it, go and do it. I give it a chance and I do not regret it, being honest. I do not regret watching this film, but I think at least it deserves the chance to be watching. Maybe you will like it, maybe you don't. Who knows? Things happen, of course, we all have different opinions, but... I think that this is all for this review on this video. I don't really have much to say, just like the film, it's very fast. Like I say, it's one hour and a half, which is okay. Like there's nothing wrong, but it's just way too fast. It's so fast paced that it's like feels like you're running 
And like I said, you're not able to digest and like you really think of what just happened and they just keep going, going. And it's like, okay, but where's the climax? Like, like I said, that spark that was missing, but still maybe you're going to like it. So like I said, this is available to stream on Tubi. That is a free streaming service and a very good one. I have always said it. And no, this is not sponsored, but I really love Tubi. It's a really good streaming service for watching horror films. And other, like, of course, they do have way more films, but in horror, they're very good. But, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you watch it already, let me know down below what do you think about this film. Did you like it? You didn't. Um, has anyone here has seen the mean one? The film was supposed to be coming today on theaters, at least in the US. I'm gonna need to wait until it hits a uh, streaming service. But if someone watched that, can someone tell me if it's worth watching it or not? And because I am thinking of giving it the time to do a review. I am just thinking about it. Although I know it's going to be awful. Who knows? Let me know if you want, are interested in watching that. Well, well, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Bye.